hey guys welcome back to the DNN medical series this is again Nikki and today I'll be talking about cervical cancer so cervical cancer is a type of cancer that develops in the woman's cervix so this is basically the entrance to the womb from the vagina so cancer of the cervix um, it often has no symptoms but if it does have symptoms the most common one is unusual vaginal bleeding that can occur after sex in between periods or even after menopause however abnormal bleeding does not mean you have cervical cancer so the best thing to do guys is to get screened for this so when the doctor screens you you they'll screen for cells lying in the cervix and they can detect if these cells are changes so in rare cases where the cells are changes precancerous cell can change out into cancerous cell that starts to multiply and multiply and you can see here they're multiplying multiplying and blocking off right there so this mainly affect women between the age of 25 through to 49 so it's good to get screening at any age or any possible point in time but this is mo the most common age range so if you're experiencing any of these symptoms you need to get it checked out with your doctor and what is the most common cause of cervical cancer the most common cause of cervical cancer is HPV this is the human papilloma virus so what is HPV this is a very common virus that can be passed through any type of sexual contact whether it be a man or a woman so there are many different types of hpv virus but hpv 16 and 18 are known to be responsible for over 70 percent of cervical cancers and remember most of these cancers don't come with symptoms and if you're having symptoms it's usually in the late state however using a condom sometimes can help protect you from the virus it offers some protection however there's not full protection because it can still be spread via skin to skin contact that is hpv so the best thing to do is get your hpv vaccine because this is the most common cause of cervical cancer and if you have any symptoms get it checked out with your doctor go in get it checked out they'll do radiotherapy to tell you what is going on and treatment usually include like if it's in the late stage they'll remove the entire wound the entire womb but but if it's detected earlier or in the early stage it can be treated and the wound doesn't have to be removed so that's basically it for cervical cancer guys i hope you learned something and share it with someone today so that's all for med in a minute until next time